Hi, I'm Debbie Peverell, and you're listening to the weekly tip from basicboardgovernance.ca. Today I'm talking about why your budget should have monthly totals. I've been talking about budgets quite a bit lately because many nonprofit groups have March 31st year ends, so April is the first month of their new year. So it's a good time to be talking about budgets. And what I would like to point out again is that sometimes people confuse the word budget with forecast. A budget is used to motivate people. So you could give your programming committee or your sales department a revenue budget. This is what you hope that they're going to achieve. You could, however, put a different amount in the forecast because the forecast is the most likely set of events, which may not be what the budget is. The budget is to motivate. The forecast is the most likely series of events. And if you have trouble figuring out the difference between forecast and budget, think about the weather. We always talk about a weather forecast. I don't ever hear the term weather budget, and the reason for that is nobody can motivate the weather. So back to the monthly idea. If your group has spent enough time on a budget that they've got monthly amounts for each expenditure item, then they have a deeper understanding of how the finances for their organization work, and of course, that's a good thing. If you only have a total budget for the whole year, for each item, then you don't really have a sense as the year goes on of whether you're on track with the amount of spending you thought you were going to have. So if you're going to use a budget as a tool in your organization, it makes sense to use that tool in a way that is most useful. So you have monthly totals, you're comparing the items to actual frequently, and in that way you're doing your best to make sure that your organization achieves its financial goals.